live? Yep. We live. Hey, good morning, good morning. What's going on? Fairly Boston, Jonathan here, and I'm at the Bostonia Public House right down here on State Street. I'm hanging out with my boy Norman, the general manager here, and the Bostonia Public House has been nominated in the 2019 Best of Fairly Boston Awards for the best brunch, and this place is popping off. Norman may be a friggin' crucifix of, uh, of a Bloody Mary. The thing has... Um, a rib, bacon, shrimp, I see uh, bacon wrapped scallops, bacon wrapped scallops a donut, dude, the, the, the thing is a Boston hitter right here, and uh, we're ready to have some fun, we're going to have some brunch, we're going to hang out, sip on some Bloody Marys, and uh, thanks for joining us, so thanks for having me, brother. Thanks for coming in, man. So, um, yeah, hell yeah, we're going to get something get it down, get it down. Dude, this thing is like unreal. Almost gonna get a, almost got whacked by a, a butter donut. Yeah, you gotta eat a little bit before you jump right in your tip. Get that, uh, get that donut, get that donut, powdered donut on the, the cheek. But um, so for everyone tuning in, so tell me a little bit about how the uh, Bostonian Public House was uh, was first started. Uh, well, we have great owner Dave Grady. Uh, a very historic building that we're in. So this is the Board of Trade building. Uh, and Dave's thought was he wants to create a stable for Boston. So this is for Bostonians. It's obviously uh, also for people coming to the city, tourists, and a great location for them to come and see what Boston's all about. So we wanted to create a polished atmosphere, but it's also relaxed uh, yeah. and you know a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the idea is, you know, we want we want Bostonian to be here. We want Bostonian to be Boston stable. So. You know, this is a generational thing for us, for wise to be here for 60, 70 years. Yeah, yeah that's what we're Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I love the vibe. If you guys have never been here, definitely check this place out. The vibe is awesome. It's like a really uh, nice, casual, modern feel. Like, really, uh, I don't know, it's like a really cool, chill environment. Uh, Bloody Mary Bar is like right in when you uh, walk through the back. Uh, huge bar, huge wraparound bar. Does it wrap all the ways around? Yep, so the bar goes all the way around uh, with the dining kind of spread out yeah. uh, alongside it. And then we also have a second bar upstairs. Yeah, you guys got upstairs too. And uh, this place pops off in the uh, once once we start getting a little bit warmer weather in Boston. They have uh, basically like the, you guys kind of take over the part of the sidewalk, right? Exactly. The front. Yeah. You guys have a little patio on the front. Stretches the whole way. Yeah. Cool, cool. So, uh, so what do you think inspired... Uh, what do you really think inspired like Bostonians to the when they first came to Boston? Sure, like, I mean, like I said, I mean, uh, you know, really trying to build it for Bostonians and, and really be a staple in Boston. Yeah. Kind of hit on that with the first question. Yeah. Uh, I wish Dave was kind of here to give you a, give you a more in depth answer. We've talked a little bit about it, but I mean, we try to keep it simple. You know, great food, uh, great staff, and give some people some food and drink yeah. and try to make yeah. them happy. And and the same, and a great location to be right here on yeah. State Street. Very much that for sure. You guys, do you guys get a lot of? You guys get like uh, a mix between like tourists and like you know native Bostonians. Or? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we try to play to a lot of crowds, right? So uh, we're right in the financial district, but we're also right next to Family Hall, so it works out great. We get a lot of uh, ladies and gentlemen in the office buildings that come in for lunches, yeah. and then we get a great after work crowd for those guys before they want to sit in traffic and go home. Yeah. And then we also get the foot traffic, um, you know, from Daniel Hall, and people come to the aquarium and the seaport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like you said, location, you know, we were really lucky with, and we're happy to be here. We're happy to be in the spot. Hell oh, yeah. So, uh, what do you, so, what do you think? So there's a lot, obviously there's a lot of bars. Yeah, let's take a little tie drink. Let's take a little. Let's take a little. Let's take a little. Damn, that's spicy. I love that. A little spicy. I love a little kick. I haven't had my I uh, haven't had my morning coffee yet. So it's waking me up right now. That's it. Um, so obviously there's a lot of there's a lot of restaurants, a crap ton of uh, bars in uh, in Boston. Right? So what do you think like really sets you guys apart from uh, from you know? Um, I mean. The biggest thing for me that, I, that I'm probably most proud of is, is my staff. I mean, I'm, I'm really lucky uh, to have such great staff that cares, and, and I get to come and work with them every day. So for me, that's a huge thing. Uh, but we also have great food. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, the Bloody Mary bar during brunches is a big hit, as you know. We have live music that's uh, just taking a little break right now, but we have live music on Saturday, Sunday mornings. We have live music. Uh, and it sets in from like 5 p.m. till 9 during that dinner crowd, so it's a nice vibe. 
So we're always kind of changing up who we are. Saturday, Sundays, chill, relax, vibe. You know, uh, during dinner, it's you know, got that nice ambiance with the piano playing, and then we try to bust it out on you know the, the weekend nights and, and get some dancing going on. Yeah, I mean, you guys, you guys, hands out have the best bloody marriage bar. I, I mean, there's probably how many? There's probably thousands of these photos. I'm sure all you guys have seen photos like these uh, on Instagram or Facebook. So he, where we see these crazy concoctions is where this is where they're uh, they're made right here, like exactly. actually right behind me. So guys, haven't come down yet. Get your ass down here. Um, ask for Norman and his staff take good care of you. And what is like how, how is it is it endless or is it no? no, no. So. So what we have it is, uh, so it's eighteen dollars. Uh, any top, any top shelf premium serve, right? Okay. So you get your two ounce more in that, and then you get essentially one pass through the bloody bar. So that's where you kind of, kind of have to uh, make sure you get. Don't be taking your Tupperware. That's it. No yeah. plates up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No plates on Tupperware. Uh, but you get one pass through. So a lot of people will build baskets on top of this. I mean, these are on the lower end. These can get, these can get much bigger. So. Uh, again, we got the ribs, we got the scallop trap, bacon, we got bacon, donuts, shrimp, uh, candy, all four types of olives, cheese, whatever you can do. So these ones are, I want to be able, I want to make sure we're able to drink out of these yeah, ones. So they're a little subdued. Um, so what about what about like the crazy arch architects in the city coming in? Like hey, are they listen, draw, are they drawing out blueprints? Blueprints <laughs> like freaking. Hey, you'd be surprised. Yeah, you, you'll yeah. have you'll have one guy come in here and just. Use a whole head of uh, celery. It builds like a Lincoln log basket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes, takes, takes advantage. Is there like a hall of fame that you guys like yeah. to that? We, we like to do every so often. I think actually coming up in March, we're going to be doing uh, give away some of our merchandise and gift cards for the best bloody of the weekend, which is something we've done in the past. Uh, but yeah, we always like to grab people and have fun with it and, and post on Insta and you know, try to get out there. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. So come on down. If you guys think Fairly Boston, all you guys can watch right now, if you guys think you can, uh, I don't know, create the most uh, insane Bloody Mary, come on down and uh, join in on the contest. Uh, so let's talk. So let's talk food. I'm getting so, super hungry. Yeah, smell, I've been smelling this stuff uh, throughout the interview. So tell us a little bit about what's your, uh, is this one of your most popular items on the menu? Sure. So this is our, our Sam and Benedict. Uh, our Sam and Benedict? Yeah. yeah. Our, you know, we got the lion's potatoes, uh, the fresh griddled biscuit underneath, yep. the poached eggs, uh, the salmon kind of wrapped around the egg, the hollandaise sauce made in-house fresh. Uh, and the beautiful garnish on top. So, you know, we like to keep it simple and, and fresh. And, you know, our seafood we, comes in daily, we cut it ourselves, and we kind of make the stuff. And, uh, but the bed mix in general are, are, are really popular. And then, you know, we also have the staples like your pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes, uh, French toast, breakfast sandwiches, and uh, much more. So, you, guys, you guys must be cooking a lot of uh, pancakes and mimosas, right? A lot of pancakes, a lot of mimosas. You know, the white girls love those. Oh, no, listen, like, the basic girls love those all day. And then, uh, this is my Achilles heel right here, Ben. I love it. Yeah. And then what's this right here? So this one's our poutine here. Uh, this one's available pretty much all day, every day. It's one of our staples. Uh, again, really simple dish, crispy uh, tater tots, the brown gravy on there, and cheese mornay. So it's our take on a poutine. I know you people are going to tell me on there, it's not no poutine, no cheese curds type of deal, but this is the way we like to do it. And it's, uh, you know, a starter that's kind of a staple, a staple for us. Yeah, dude, I love it. Going against the grain, doing your own thing. It's good. We're going to taste it a little bit. Uh, looks delicious, smells delicious. So here's a little fun question I like to ask all the 2019 nominees. So if you could share a meal with somebody from the Boston area, who would it be and why? I mean, I might have to go with my, my boy Bobby Kraft. All right, see all what's right. going on with him. I mean, he's been in the news. I think he, I think his name's getting dragged to the bottom of it. Sting. It's an absolute, absolute sting seven. operation. You're right. If you got, if you guys think that's real. Garbage. So I think Bob Kraft, a little poutine. I think that'd be, you know, I yeah, think yeah, maybe yeah. figure all that out. Yeah, maybe, uh, you know, have them have them all, uh, have them, you know, regain, regain the thoughts. Maybe, you know, right. hide, hide them out, hide them out, and uh, in the back room somewhere. Figure it all out. There we go. Yeah, figure it all out. Yeah, right here. So, uh, so, and any big plans for 2019 for you guys? Uh, we're gonna keep trying to do what we've been doing. Uh, but as far as big plans for 2019, we're really excited to uh, start a late night menu. So for right now, our kitchen closes around 11 or, or midnight, depending on the day. Uh, but we want to push that back to 1, 1.30. So 
uh, come the summertime, uh, we want to be offering great food as late as we can, so that's one of the big things that we're, we're still ironing out, but we should be jumping on in the summertime. And how, what, how late is the late menu going to be? Uh, that's another thing we're trying to figure out, but tentatively right now, I think Sunday through Thursday, this Friday and Saturday is going to look too crazy, you know, we're four deep in the bar, so it's kind of hard to do the food thing. Uh, but I think Sunday through Thursday, so I think we're going to kick it off until 1.30 a.m. So, you know what, you, you guys want to be getting those sloppies. Those hey, sloppies listen, Kugans, they, just, uh, stumbling in. They got to eat. They got to yeah, eat home yeah, safe. Yeah, I got to put some food in. Definitely don't want to eat at Kugans. No, no offense, Kugans. No, we love but... Kugans. We love Kugans. And then also, uh, we, we plan on revamping the, the patio. So, for those of you that have been out and seen our patio, we're, we're going to try to upgrade this year and, and uh, spruce it up. Sweet. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, all right. So, that's it. Uh, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna dive into this uh, this uh, the same Benedict. And uh, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Keep going. Keep on heading to the uh, official awards website, guys. It's at bestofcurlyboston.com. Keep nominating the Bostonia Public House for the best brunch, and uh, so they make it to the official voting ballot. So that's it. And uh, everyone have a great weekend. Bye, guys.